What up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So here we are again working on our 2019 Honda Grom. Mason's clearly trying it out. Um, in the last video we mentioned about the frame damage that we discovered on the, the fork. On the frame, the front end. Yeah, the front end. Yeah, it, it kind of comes to a point and has a tube welded to the face of it. Um, in this video, we're going to go ahead and try to strip down the whole front end and see if we do have to remove this plastic as well as the tank. And probably. Hopefully, we can bend this frame out and not have to replace the whole frame. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is going to be good. And so, we're going to go ahead and get into the video, get stuff taken off, um, kind of just show you guys each piece that we remove. Um, uh, see what other problems we run into. That's the best spot. Yeah. Hey, look. Yeah, it's not all there, is it? It might be. Yeah. This is. Not all the way. I'm not sure if I can get to these. Any classes? like it could just be a couple screws. Phillips screws. Behind the face. Let's do this side first. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's Jacob, could you push this down so it just doesn't lift up? You might have to disconnect it on the engine so that we can pull it up. Yeah, bro, I am disconnecting it from no, the engine. Right here. I got a little Phillips screw if you have the other Phillips. Yeah, I got it right here. Hold on. I don't have any Phillips type things over here. Hold it. I have an air hose that goes on your side. I loosened it. There you go. Are these hoses on the way? Mm -hmm. I don't know. See this hose right here? That's on my side too. Mm. It, it goes on your side. So we gotta pull this hose. We can disconnect it on your side? Mm -mm. I don't it wanna disconnect it. the same it time as that one. So what yeah, well, if we can disconnect it on. Yeah, just disconnect it from the airbox. So we gotta squeeze it together, Brian? Yes.
Yeah, it is. Okay. Man, if these forks weren't here. Oh wait, that's what we were trying to do. Let's finish these. It's the big version. I can do mine if you can't. Yeah, I don't know if you can do yours. Since we're trying to don't strip it, just do. If I get it in for the day, it might be alright. It's because of the airbox. Yeah. Well, you have a swivel, so should be able to use that. Turn it. Bottom one. Won't even do it. And then top one. That won't go in now. Okay. Well, your battery is also on one bar. Why don't you look at how to remove these forks? Put that side. You're gonna strip it. I'm just gonna wrench socket. Yeah, I don't have a ten dollar here anymore, so what do you mean? I'm using it. I, I thought you meant a ratchet. I did. Seems not good. That's how change ours. Yep, that's how we change the wheel. And what do we do with the brake line? You just uh, remove the caliper. Where's that tank? I still don't know why your drill smells like that. One sec. What? Oh. Nope. Right. Yeah, look. Mm. Look, is that all bent? At this point, I think everything's all bent. Spin it. Trust. Go ahead, trust me. Oh, oh. look. <laughs> yep. <laughs> look at that. Nice and straight. And then the disc is all. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, look at the forks. Yeah, a big dent in it. Yeah, they're bad. Sure are. Yep, your, your budget um, ROM build is about gone. Yeah. This whole thing is just... Cylinder. Just leave it on there or something. No, I probably wouldn't do all that. I'll just leave it on. 
Oh, if we can just grow. Oh, right here, it's a big look. Um, I mean, these are like the keys to. No. You think? Got it. It's just like being a mix plate. Yeah. Okay, can you show me that wire, please? Show me what? This looks good. Oh, so this. Oh god, it's pink on the bottom. So I need to go. So the nice thing is, though, how big of a bar can we put through here? Come on. I see. Yes, I need to go up. You see the top? Oh yeah. I saw. It's on the other side too. So it needs to be twisted upwards and towards us. Oh yeah. That's fine. It's never gonna be the right, nice. Probably not. I need that pair of pliers. Where did the other end go? It must have just been on that too. Overfill. Yeah. yeah. I think it was just tucked down in here like this. Well, nope, maybe those? Yeah. What is this? Mm -hmm. Oh, fuel pump cover. Mm -hmm. That means we have to disconnect the fuel pump. No. Hmm? Just oh, cut yeah, it? Yes, This is what I wanted. Yeah. It's full of gas too. I'm sure the frame. Yeah, so you can obviously see how it's bent over. You can see that's bent over, and then it's also bent downwards as well. You can show here. Yep. Yeah. Up more. I don't know about up uh, over more. Like that. I I, I don't know. Is this straight up and down, or does it need to turn sideways? I think it might need to go up a little bit more, maybe. You're gonna wrap the bike if you go too much. Huh? Just go. Is that what you're saying? That looks good. Yeah. I'll get a pair of pliers. It's also, the rubber's all hot now. So, as you just saw, we did decide to go ahead and cut the frame, push it over and up a little bit, and then we did weld it as well as put pieces of one by one, um, eighth inch angle iron underneath of it on both sides. Um, the price of a new frame is like 
$200 on the cheapest website we found and that would consist of tearing down this whole bike. And so because this bike does not go over 55 miles per hour, it's not going to be his daily rider. Um, we decided that welding it was going to be good enough for what we were going to do with it. Um, one day we may choose to change the frame out if, if we feel like we should. Um, I do feel very confident in this, even though it is a messy weld, just because I was trying to fill gaps and it was bent metal. Um, but overall, we think it's just a good start um, to, especially being a low budget rebuild. Um, now that we have this done though, we are gonna go ahead and try to reassemble what we can, but we would like to try to get it running. Um, we do have a wheel, we do have forks that have to be replaced. Um, we did make a list of a lot of parts that need to be replaced. I mean, we have 20, 30 parts that gotta be put on, replaced, just that we have to order. So definitely quite a bit of damage on the front end. But we're gonna go ahead and try to throw some of these gas, gas tanks and plastics back on just to make this bike look more like a bike. I don't think the whole bike needs it, just the band. Maybe I wanted to lube up my shaft. Probably didn't need to. No, hold on, what are you doing? Got another one. Does that go no. to the top? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Let's set it there. See kind of what you see. Put the mace over back. Let's see. <laughs> Something like that. You good? Sure. You have a swivel. I noticed that these weren't sitting right though. Like. So this one's back and this one's going forwards. Yep. No, that's good. No. That's good for the moment. That's it. And they're off. Put them in for the moment so it's not dangling. That'd yeah. be great. I'll just put the top one in. Good enough for now. Alright guys, so as you can see, we do have the front end of the bike put back on. We do have the handlebars, one of the front ports. We have the gas tank and the air box put back on. We are going to go ahead and order a few parts so we will be able to assemble the bike a little bit more. Um, hopefully we can find the engine 
cover that we need so we can go ahead and try to fill this up with oil and get it to start for the first time. Um, we're going to go ahead and call this a video since there isn't much more we can do to this until we get additional parts. So please leave a like, subscribe, and definitely, definitely stay tuned because we do have quite a bit more videos coming of this. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be pretty exciting. So please stay tuned. Catch you guys later.